guys, it's Kate Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode two of the Honor Student at Magic High School. So let's gotta get started in three, two, one, go. Okay, let's see what my baby Miyuki does today. Oh my god, I'm so excited! Oh. <laughs> You know what I really would have liked with this opening? <sighs> is if Miyuki's voice I just want to say the damn song. But who knows? Who knows? Like, uh, cause see, the last thing I know is that um, her seiyu, of course, my fa my ba my favorite seiyu, um, and the I don't remember her name from season two. What the fuck was her name? Oh my god. Blondie, wait, wait, not her, but the one from the movie who eventually comes into season two. The game that they had, they sang the opening for that. But who knows? She might even sing the ending song because we didn't hear the ending song yet. So I'm just, I just want to hear my, my best fucking sing you sing one more time. Like, uh. Even though technically I get to hear her sing a lot because I play Idol Master Center all the girls, but still because I love her voice so much and just like so fucking pretty and I can it makes me want to cry like uh but yeah Oh, okay, okay. This is what we're gonna see. Okay. Good, because I honestly wanted to see this. I mean, we, we get to see, like, a little bit of this in, like, season one, but I feel like they might extend this, like, a teeny... Look at baby! <laughs> they might extend this a bit. That's the power of best girl right there. Look at it. Look at I know Hanukkah looking like she has like a big ass crush on Miyuki. Even though, no, I don't think that's true. She has one on Tatsuya like me. <laughs> Forgot how adorable Hanukkah is. <laughs>
Mm. Poor baby. No. Mm -hmm. Ah, she's good. with her brother. Oh, and it ain't kind of anybody else. Like, fuck you. That's probably the only interaction we're gonna get with the brother sister doing it in my heart. Ah, fucking Tosia, I can't. Love him so much. I mean, because, yeah, because he is very, very OP as fuck. I mean, you know... I don't know if him and Anos <laughs> could like go toe to toe, but you know it's possible. Can you imagine if she didn't like tell them like that and then they like, still like bash tossing her but mm.
Wait, hold on. It's okay. I mean, you didn't know. You know, you get your warning next time. Mm. Yeah. Cause you were upset, babe. No, oh no, huh? <laughs> And then right then and there, bam, Monica was in love.
<laughs> oh! Besides, my ain't going to take your brother from you. Because this is the point where they're going to be asked to join the student council president. Or, not the student council president, the student council, basically. And Tatsu is going to be, like, tested on something from, I don't know, because it's been, like, it's been, like, a year since I watched season one, because I binged the shit out of it. Yeah, discipline, you, mm-hmm. You, what's your fucking problem? Like, damn. You jealous? Oh my god. It's not also because of the fucking connection. Shut the fuck up. Mm -mm. You don't want to get in trouble anymore. I mean, yeah, that too, but because of the fact that you wanted to be friends with Miyuki, and now you have, like, the biggest crush on Tatsuya, like... Baby, look at them all. Get 
It's okay. She's just in love. She happy and in love. <laughs> oh, precious baby. <laughs> okay, I love this. Honestly, dead ass. I love the fact that, you know, we got to see mainly like Honoka and Shizuku shine in this. I mean, because especially when you're comparing it back to the original first season, you, you're you seeing everything through Tasio's POV, so you don't really get to see as much of Honoka and Shizuku in this episode and until with the situation that happened between the blooms and the weeds and such. Now I feel like we're going, I don't think we're getting close to when the... The terrorist attack happened. I think that was way closer to the end of season one. Well, there's no, because there's two different terrorist attacks. There's one that happens very early on. Then it's the Nine Schools Academy competition arc. And then after that, we have another terrorist attack. So I feel like we're getting, we're getting close to that first terrorist attack with that one girl um, who Erica eventually goes up against. So hopefully we get to see that. Hell, I just, <laughs> I love the part. I love because <laughs> if I rewatch season one again, and just that moment of them together, and she's like, "Oh, this split us apart," and how in her mind she's sitting here like imagining a moment where she's getting pulled away, and then Tatsuya looks like tuxedo mask as if he's in a white tuxedo. Like, do you know what? Do you know how good he looks? Like, oh my god, is this, huh? This show, I can't. This is only episode fucking two. Two! God damn it, we're not even, like, done with this show. We're still at the beginning of this. Huh, I, oh my god. I, there are two shows now. Well, yeah, yeah, two shows. This and my hero will fucking talk to his VA, and I can't with him. Hell, it was worse when freaking Jujutsu Kaisen was airing, and he was Gojo, our freaking fruits basket at Shigure, and I'm just like, ah, I'm like, I can't. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. I, I can't. He's just so fucking fine, and his voice, like, oh, my God, this man's voice. I can't, it's too much, because he's so damn fine. Too damn fine, like, why do, you, why do we always choose, like, the most hottest mature African singers to play, like, these cute innocent boys or men, and I'm like, yeah, and then, like, yeah, Deja's just gonna fall in love with him, and be like, hmm, Deja gonna fall in love, let's choose this thing, you know, play <laughs> Like, I can't. Like, when I was so fucking much. But, okay. But, yeah. I mean, I really, truly love the fact that Honoka and Shizuku really got, like, the biggest development in this episode. Because, of course, we were going to see them officially get a lot of time to shine. Because going between season one and season two, especially in season two, Honoka gets a lot of airtime, like, in my opinion. Shizuku, not as much because, you know, um... Shizuku was in Texas at the time of everything that mostly happened, and she didn't really return until very close to the end of season two. So my biggest thing was going into this show, I was like, okay, I loved Shizuku a lot in season one. She was like one of those characters that like <laughs> always made me laugh in a way. And so I kept wondering, like, in season two, I was like, we're going to get the same thing with that. And then, you know, next thing I was like, what they count? Y'all kicked one of the best girls off the damn show, but she still gets something. And so I like the fact that we get to see um, everything from, like, season one in a different POV, but, like, having characters who didn't get that much time to shine between season one and season two getting that character development that they need. Because I feel like now we're going to see more of this friendship between Honoka and... Miyuki and she's who develop more into a really good friendship that could last the test of time. Uh, I mean, of course, we're going to see like I I'm guessing we're going to see that one dude. What the fuck was his name? What did I, I called him Suzaku Kurogi look like? Cause he definitely dead ass looks like Suzaku. Uh, Suzaku Kurogi. So we might see him again, maybe. 
Will we? I mean, because this is the, this is still season one. So, yeah, we have to see him before the end of the time, before the show ends. But, yeah, I mean, loved it. Loved it a lot. Like, it was so fucking cute. And I'm ready to see cute moments again. Like, oh, It's just every single week I'm going to be fangirling over something. So, yes, once again, be ready for that. Like, no matter what. I love it so much. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to Futurist episode two of the Honor Student at Magic High School. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode three. Bye, guys.